the fall wine club shipment this year is going to look uh, a little different due to the 2020 glass fire that uh, burned through our property for six consecutive days from September 27th to, I think, October 2nd. Um, the, I think the greatest natural disaster that Napa has ever experienced, and certainly for us, the most terrifying event that we've ever gone through uh, as, a, as a company and as a group. Uh, I thought at times that uh, we would lose everything, and that's just a, a horrible thing to contemplate. Uh, but in the end, uh, we got through uh, relatively unscathed. No buildings were lost, as you all know. Only one row of grapes was uh, was fried at the bottom of the Zinn Vineyard. And uh, because our normal protocols are for to be almost done with harvest by the end of September, we had picked 85% of our property before the glass fire came through. Only three small lots remained. But what we did lose was all of our off-campus fruit. So normally in the fall club shipment, we'd have our Syrah from Coombsville. That we were unable to take because of smoke damage. And also in this shipment, the 2020 Carneros Merlot would be included. Uh, also, this was not able to be used because of smoke taint. But uh, 2020 ended up being not only a tale of survival for us, but I think a tale of, uh, of triumph. Um, it's, it's really kind of poetically ironic that in 2020 there are six wines we did not make that we normally make because of the loss of off-campus fruit, and yet we made six new wines all from the estate that I think are really amazing. And the, the one wine I want to talk about now that will be in the wine club is a wine called Capstone. So Capstone essentially replaces the, the Napa Cabernet and the Napa Merlot, both of which are estate dominant but have fruit from off campus that we couldn't get. So this is a 100% estate bottling, uh, two thirds estate Cabernet Sauvignon and one third estate Merlot. And uh, I think it's really important to underscore this. Not only do we survive 2020, but the 2020 vintage is really an extraordinary vintage. If I had lost that entire vintage, I would have been, I would have been crushed because it was a vintage that I literally fell in love with during the growing season because the conditions were so perfect all along the way. And one of the tricky points during the growing season is variation when grapes turn from, you know, in the red, in the case of red, from green to purple, in the case of uh, white, from green to golden. And I'd, I'd never seen Verasion so even uh, before, and the cluster's so perfectly shaped. Uh, and the wines have such incredible depth, especially the, the estate Merlots. I, I've never seen Merlot with that kind of power and depth. And yet within months after fermentation being complete, the textures were there, the expressivity was there. So it's really an extraordinary vintage. I chose the word capstone for for two reasons. One, I love alliteration. Keenan Capstone sounds great. Also, Capstone means crowning achievement. And I, and I think the 2020 vintage was. Uh, as I mentioned, it's the greatest disaster Napa has ever faced. Um, and many people did not make wine in 2020. But what is really worth underscoring here is that, again, we are normally done by the end of September because I think we make wines that show a little bit more elements of terroir, always uh, subtleties are there, a savoriness is always there because we pick at the right time. And this is also why we're picked as one of the top, you know, 100 wineries in the world this year by Wine and Spirits magazine because of that very fact. So I consider it a validation of our uh, decades long protocols of picking at the right time and a testament to the talent of our team. Um, you know, Matt has gotten so good at, at scheduling the picking. He and I used to do it together, but he's just so good at it now that he doesn't even need my help anymore. Um, and Art just runs the cellar so beautifully, and we're just making such great wines year in and year out. And I'm so glad we didn't miss 2020. Uh, but the thing I really want to focus on now is price. Um, the capstone is going to go to market at $85. But I want to keep the price of the shipment where it would have been had the Syrah and the Carneros Merlot been in it, which are priced lower. So we're gonna do a kind of a one-time deal on the capstone to have the shipment be essentially the price it would have been. Um, so as a thank you to our wine club members, I wanna, I wanna do that um, and also give everybody a heads up on, uh, on what's coming up uh, at the end of October. And it's just so ironic that here I am sitting in my office um, with a sweater on because it's quite cold 
uh, on September 30th, and we've just begun picking uh, the red wines on Thursday. So such a markedly different year than, than 2020, which was a normal, 2020 was a normal year as far as sequence. When we start picking, we finish picking. And this is a one of those cool years like 2010 and 2011, which are only happen uh, you know every 20 years or so. So uh, very different this year, but uh, we're gonna finish strong and make some, again, beautiful wines this year. So enjoy the shipment and uh, thank you all for being Wine Club members. Cheers. Yeah.